This is Mark Bell from Super Training Gym. Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. We're working on some lower back stuff. I know a lot of you guys have lower back pain, and we got one of our coaches here who's going to take us out of back pain. What do we got to do, coach? Well, first we're going to start on all four. So we're going to start in our hip stretch. All right. That we've kind of become a little bit accustomed to. We're going to get that right leg behind the left. Good. We're going to turn the chest to our left knee, move our head into our left column. Good. And then we're going to reach that back leg as far back as we can sitting into that front side bow. So now my left column is sitting into a bow. Mm. I should feel this stretch in the lower back hip area, a lot of activation over here. The left side of my body is what we would call opening, the right side is closing. Am I trying to face bam? this way? Yep, trying to face that way. I feel the that shin a turns lot. In. And it feels different than the stretch we were doing for the knee. Good, so right here, bow is set. We sit here about 30, 45 seconds, just let your body settle into this position. Hit all those landmarks. Head is inside the column. I'm trying to load up this hip, and I'm closing that backside. I'm trying to feel it in the back pocket, leaking up into the lower back. Now, from this position, we're going to start to create more of a corner in the front leg. Bam's going to take his back leg, and he's going to swing it behind him without moving the front shin. So the front shin stays down, and I just take that back leg, and I start to trace it back behind my front leg. Still working the front side column, Woo. getting that hip corner, starting to, this will speak more to the lower back. Once again, belly button to ground, chest up, eyes up, pull all the length out of the spine, pull all the length out of the glute and the hamstring so that we can get a long decompressed wow. spine, get that compression out of there. That feels amazing. So we have those two shapes, we've got the bow and we've got the corner, and now we're gonna add a little flow to it. So what Bam's gonna do is he's gonna stay on this front leg, pick his back leg up slightly, or he can drag it along the turf here, and he's just gonna kinda go in and out with it, from his bow to his corner, from his bow to his corner. So you'll have to get real heavy in that front column. There you go. Feel like you're posting up on that front thigh, and then you can just drag your back foot closer <laughs> to Bam. Good, drag that back foot closer to Bam, and now you get start more into a bow. Then you go back into a corner, good. Then you go into a bow, to a corner. Think push-up position with the hands to kind of help you find it to start there, Mark. And then just kind of, yeah, slide that leg. Feel that front leg, the left column, feeling like it's a stake driving uh -uh. down into the ground. And then that back leg is just kind of shark tail going back and forth. And what this is doing is it's letting the hip open and letting the hip close. Let the hip open, let the hip close. And you realize once you start to get pressure out of this back column that that front side really has to hold that pressure. That's why that front column Ooh, becomes a working Yeah, hip. I feel that. Perfect, perfect. So we've got the hold in the bow, we've got the hold in the corner, and then we flow from bow to corner working through those shapes. Good, once we get there, let's get back to all fours. Good, so let's get back to all fours. We're gonna toe tuck. So we'll tuck the toes, it'll look like this. Toes in, heels away, inside ankle bones are high. Let's find that position with the feet. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit the butt back to the heels. And now I wanna move the hands off of the mat. And I wanna start to do my rockers, but without any hand support. So now my chest is up, my belly button's to the ground, and I'm rocking into this toe tuck position. Go ahead, reach those hips back as far as you can. Mark, and then bring that chest just slightly forward. Notice how Bam's thumbs are closer to his chest. And then you're just doing small little movements right there. So you can see how far Bam's chest is forward and how right. far back his hip is, so that when he goes forward, the chest goes forward and the chest doesn't go up and back. So now we could modify for Mark by just saying, Mark, put your hands on the ground just like you are, and then he can hit that rocker. Now we notice that Mark's chest area, the lower back looks a lot more organized, and he's just adding support, Bam's taking it away. But you're still in the toe tuck rocker. Mark's got six pivot points, the hands, the kneecaps, and the feet. Bam's working off of four, so this will be more of a challenging derivative. This will be a little bit easier. You can maybe do a little bit from a modify and then come back up into this position right here. Good, so we're gonna hit about a minute here, something between 30 to 60 reps, just trying to feel out this position. I'm not trying to slam the suitcase shut on the foot and ankle or the knee. I'm going to my end range like Mark was. He found that end range and he's just working that space slowly. This is the landing. As he rocks forward, there's his leaving. So we're feeding that bow and corner that we had in our hip stretch, but just from a bilateral setting right here. Good, three more reps. 
and then we'll stand up, shake the legs out, and then we'll finish with a little side bend to kind of help stretch out that lower back, keep us in the back Ooh. chain, attack that hip at the same time. Good, so now we come to column alignment. So fist width distance, I can drop that fist down, shock a sign for the second toe straight. My second toe is like a laser pointer, shining that thing straight. Inside ankle bones are high. My heels are like eggshells, so I don't wanna dump the pressure into my heels during this exercise. Keep the heels out of it. Once you feel that light foot and you're on the outside corner, now reach that hip back like you're trying to touch the wall behind you. Belly button is to the ground. Good, chest is up, eyes are up. And now we're gonna start to side bend. We're gonna start to really just rock side to side, if you will. Head goes into the column, head goes into the column. Good, so I start to feel that rhythm of the pressure moving from one side of my body to the other side of the body while staying on an inside ankle bone high platform in a long decompressed back chain dominant system. So now as I rock to my right, Mark can stay here and he can go back to his right and he can reach this left arm forward, good. And then he can rock over here and he can reach his right arm to help pull some length out of the lower back on one side. So this looks very similar to what you saw on a bow and hip stretch because we're still sort of patronizing the same behaviors. Bam's in a bow on his right side. He's starting to corner his left side. Then he switches it over there. Feeling now it. he's got the bow on the left. Feeling the lower back. Lower back should be lit. Keep going back to those cues, right? Heels and eggshell, get the feet right, and then up there in the spine area, the hip area, turn that belly button towards the ground, lift the chest and the eyes up, pull all the length out of that lower back, take it from a compressed state to a decompressed state. But what we do with the foot and ankle is important as well. That's your side bend. Good, very challenging. Mm -hmm. Just need the head to float into the column so our tracking system goes over meaning my left eye is over the left pinky toe, my right eye goes over my right pinky toe. Where the head goes, the pressure flows. We wanna put pressure into one column and then go ahead and corner and release. Once it gets to be hard, what do we do? Like maybe five, 10 more reps? Yeah, absolutely, when you feel that burn, you wanna kinda of go to as many reps as possible. We don't want terrible form. So if I start to lose the foot control, or I start to dump into the front chain, I wanna back off. You wanna feel the lower, the lower back burning, the hip burning, that's a good thing. That means you're waking up what we call that primal tunnel. Get as many Whoa. reps as you can. You probably got 10 to 15 more in you, and then you call it. Holy nice. smokes. <laughs> back is smoked. All right, that's how you're gonna fix your back. Strength is never a weakness, weakness is never strength. Catch you guys later.